Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So we drew Mal last week from Disney's Descendants. Now let's go ahead and jump into Evie. Evie is uh, Mal's best friend, who is also the daughter of the evil queen from Snow White. So let's go ahead and get started with Evie. Definitely want to start with the face first. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my generic shape of a face. So I just smooth out the forehead, bring this around. So there's the face. Now I'm going to go ahead and designate where my eye line is going to go. And then the middle of the face. Now this particular image from Wicked World, so this isn't like the person, but you know, it's the cartoon characters based off of the person. From this image that I'm looking at from Descendants Wicked World, she's looking at us a little bit more, a little bit more front on, but it's still a three quarter view. So I'm gonna go ahead, mark where my nose is gonna go. So we see it more a little bit in front. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mark where the eyes are gonna go. So this eye is a little bit more off to the side. And this eye over here is a little bit more away from it. So we are leaving like, this one's a little bit close to the edge of the face. And this one has a little bit more space over here as well. So I'm gonna make these nice and big because Evie has big, big eyes. I'm actually going to bring down the nose just a little bit down here. So let's start with Evie's eyes first. So I made our generic looking sunflower seed. So I'm going to go up, bring this up a little bit more. Round this down, go under. And then I'm going to jump over here. Shape this up a little bit more. Bring this over and up. circle for the pupil and iris areas and then a circle right here. So this one's more in the center and this one's more off to the side. So I want to make the top of her eye a little bit more rounded down upwards. Bring this down. Same for over here. Bring this up. Bring this over. And then I'm going to jump down here. Make sure these are the same level. So she's still got that three quarter turn. So we have this eye a little bit more in the corner of her eye. And then of course we have this one that's looking a little bit more at us. So let's go ahead and fill it in. We've got a little bit of a shine here. And then a pupil. And then jump over here, we have a shine in this eye. Go ahead and draw the pupil as well. And Evie has brown eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the pupils. And then I'm going to color in the irises, which are dark brown. So she has extremely thick eyelashes, so I'm just going to make this super thick on top and jump over here and make this super thick right on top and then super thick at the bottom as well over here. Then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just give her tons of eyelashes in the corner of that really thick eyelash line. Jump over here, really super thick as well. And we're just going to make this really thick in the corner and really thick here. That's all the makeup she's really wearing is the thick eyelashes and eyeliner is on top of her eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and give her a really thick eyebrow. So I'm going to start from here and then it's going to arch off the side of the face. And then we're going to start over here, same level, and just start bringing this back because her hair will eventually cover this side of her eyebrow. So it's a super thick eyebrow. And 
and jump down to the nose. So what I'd like to do is go ahead underneath his nose and give one nostril here and one nostril here. So I can see more of this side of the point of the nose. And we're seeing more of like, this is the point of the nose. We're still seeing a nostril, but we can see the flap of the nose over here and then the nostril over here as well. And just a little bit of the nose ridge. She has a little bit of a pointy nose. I'm just gonna go underneath and shade around it. So we have more of a shiny end to her nose. Now for her lips, I'm gonna go underneath her nose. Just a little bit of space. And go ahead and make more of a bridge. And then I'm gonna bring up the bridge on one side. And then bring up the bridge on the other side. So since we're laying out her lips a little bit, let's go ahead and shape up her face. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this side of her forehead. But we want to go ahead and bring out, so we have her eye right here, but we want to bring out her cheek. So we have her cheek that's rounded outwards, and then her chin is a little bit rounder at the bottom instead of, so, uh, instead of it being pointy. Round it out. Go up, it's a sharp upwards and then round out the side of her face again. So let's jump back to her mouth now because she was just a little weird so we thought we'd go ahead and shape up that face. So after this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make just this top lip a little bit thicker. Go underneath and connect to the other side so we got like an upside down bridge going on and then I'm just gonna jump right underneath here and right underneath here and give it a little bit of separation with her teeth because she's smiling so I'm gonna bring out this a little bit more and curve it outwards little dimple here and then a little dimple right here bring this down and then of course go ahead and lightly shade this in just giving a little bit of shine towards the bottom because she is wearing a darker color lipstick all right so we don't want to make her look like a floating head so I'm gonna give her a neck go underneath and it's just gonna go underneath her chin and then she's wearing a high collar but before we go ahead and start drawing like her shoulders and everything let's go ahead and draw her hair the biggest thing that's going to make Evie easy is the braid crown that she has going on on her hairstyle so we're gonna go all the way up we're gonna bring up her forehead just a little bit more and then I'm gonna go ahead and start that braid crown so I'm just going to go ahead and make a V. And I'm going to go ahead and bring down one side of her bangs. That's going to go across her eyebrow on the left side. And then I'm going to bring down this side of her bangs. That's going to go curling inwards towards her face and go underneath her chin. So bring this bang going that way and then we've got some hair going this way. So let's go ahead. And I'm going to make the part of her hair. So we have this part. And one side of her hair is going to go this way. And then one side of her hair is going to go this way. And then we have a little bit of a back, back piece. A couple of back pieces going on. So we got a good part. This side is going to go downwards. All right. So after this, now the braid, the crown braid doesn't go all the way up, it just kind of is like inside her hair, but we still see a lot of back of her hair going on. So I'm going to bring this, this part of her braid going up, 
And this is going into this part of her hair. So we're seeing, once again, we're seeing more of this side of her face as opposed to this side. So to make a braid, I'm gonna start from I'm gonna start from one side. So I will start over here. And you're just gonna make a braid like this. So it's like mostly compiled of heart shapes. That's the easiest way to make braids. So if you're ever making like Anna or Elsa, it looks like little hearts. And when you coat, when you fill it in, you want to make sure that the bottom looks more. like strands of hair are gathered at the bottom of the braid. So we want to make sure that this is actually looking like it's coming from this part and this one's wrapped around to the side. So I'm going to bring out this part and define this out this side first. And we're just going to break up that those hairs into clumps. And this one's going to be more back behind here. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and divide it up into places. And then we're gonna bring out this bang over here. That's gonna go outwards. And the rest of this hair is gonna hide behind all these curls that are going out this way. Bring this one off to the side, and then we have a curl going downwards. And then we have another curl that's going out this way. It's okay to draw through the hair. Evie's hair is mostly blue and black, so it's okay if you go back in and you just fill it in. And then we've got this big curl that we started over here, jumping off to the side. And then we've got a big curl that's kind of going behind her shoulder. So let's go ahead and give one flap of the side of her collar. So I'm just going to go right from behind her neck, bring out that collar, I'm just going to draw through the hair. And then bring down that collar to the side. And then we're going to have one shoulder that's going this way, downwards. And then we have one shoulder that's kind of going up, like this. So I'm gonna bring up one shoulder, and the reason I'm gonna define her chest a little bit, and that way it looks like her shoulder is going up. So this flap, and then I'm gonna define this over here. This is her shoulder, and to her jacket. You can do the same over here, just define that shoulder a little bit more. Bring this down. And then I'm going to bring down that flap once again. It's going to go out this way. And here's her other flap. The other part of her collar, I just keep calling her flap, is actually tucked underneath her piece of hair. So we have this, and we don't really see it but we see the zipper that's right here. Another important thing is we're gonna go ahead and give her her necklace, so behind her neck, we have a gold chain going out this way, and it's a very thick gold chain. And I'm gonna go back behind that piece of hair, that curl, and it's a heart, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the heart first. 
horrible heart. <laughs> and then a crown on top of the heart. So just go ahead and make a jagged heart. So we have that big jewel and then she has a bunch of studs on her jacket. So here's one row of studs. Here's another row of studs. Here's some studs. And here's some studs here. So you're just going to make these rectangles. Studs here, kind of going off the side of the jacket. That hair. Another row of studs and another row of studs. And then you're just gonna go ahead and divide those up because they're just they're just basically a bunch of squares, but they're shiny and gold. They match her zipper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and continue with her hair back behind her shoulder because she has a lot of hair. So this curl's actually gonna go this way. Outwards, and then this one just curls back into her shoulder and then this piece of hair is like the only piece of hair that's defining the other side so we have this big curl and this big curl so this the main thing that's gonna make Evie Evie is this braid that's on top of her head and you just want to make sure you define that the most. And I'm actually going to go ahead and part this side of her, her hair as well. Get rid of the guideline and eyebrow mark. So you see like how I parted it on this side. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just define it a little bit more. Nice rosy cheeks. So a little bit of rosy cheeks here. And a little bit of rosy cheeks over here. And then you wanna go ahead and just shade lightly alongside of her nose. So we have a little shading going on here and a little shading going alongside of her eye to her nose right here. And there you guys go. There's the easiest way that I can teach you on how to draw Evie from Descendants. Now, last week we did Mal. I don't know where she is here she is and then here's Mal so you could probably put them right next to each other but yes these are from Descendants Wicked World and I know Descendants 2 is coming up already soon to the Disney Channel I'm really really excited I love the first one love the music so I'm excited for the second one but yes guys I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later